Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to more Beast Breaker. Let's head straight to the cellar, dude. We got stuff to do. Let's plan an expedition and get this show on the road. John Quill offers to teach Skipper the art of tracking beasts. Okay, I'm intrigued. John Quill, this village, um, asked for help, but dot dot dot. Hmm, yeah, Tangledale's real deep in the hollow. Navigating those thickets gets pretty tricky. I should have had, like, thickets gets very trickets. <laughs> or something. Not to mention it takes a whole slew of different skills. I read this as stew because I'm hungry dealing with beasts out there. Dot dot dot. Aw, uh, hey, now no need to ring your whiskers, chap. How about I teach you to track? Sounds like a, a dance I would have learned in, in grade school. Okay. Um, we are currently getting no bonus. Brilliant. Um, we'll hopefully we'll be able to get a bonus sometime in the future. Let, let's just move in, right? Let's move in. Let's get this show on the road. Ah, nothing like a jaunt between beneath the majestic brambles to put a spring in your step. I spotted some sure signs of beast though, so keep a sharp eye. Exclamation point, exclamation point. Now a good scout always keeps useful materials at hand. Lucky for us, where there's thorns, there's berries. Okay, what the hell is going on here? This is a brand new game, dude. Move to a berry space to gain materials. He's done it. <laughs> He's so good. Now best we save those for a talented for the talented village folks, tempting as it is to take a nibble. Okay, so like I'm gonna go here now, and now we we see a beast. There it is, sap and splinters. If that thing barreled in the tangled dale, it would be a disaster. Exclamation point, exclamation point. Whoa, let's hang back a moment. Beast like this, you probably want to do some reconnaissance first. Recon the beast by standing on a space adjacent to it. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, that's what us scouts call a shard beast. A few explosives will make quick work of its skills. Head on over to the settlement, we'll get something cooking. Okay. I'm, I'm all kinds of confused right now, but that's okay. Skipper, we better do a mite more preparation before we barrel in. Okay, well, I'm I'm in the village, right? And he's giving me crap. Can't always rely on noble caravans out here, so we make do and make some real swell stuff. Of course, it gets tough for folks to gather materials when a beast is on the prowl. Okay. Situation like this, I recommend an explosive essence. Handy things essences. If we swab one onto your weapon, that'll give you all sorts of new ways to damage the beast. I'm intrigued. Not how we normally use them, but moats... Folks, like, don't normally wrestle with beasts like you do. Okay, good, great. Fantastic. So craft this. I don't have enough. I need another berry. So I'll go grab a berry, and then I'll come back here. And it's looking a little spicy. Like, he's getting kind of close. Uh, cause an explosion on the first three bounces? Are you freaking kidding me, dude? This sounds insane. Let's go show that beast a thing or two. All right. I will. So I'm, I'm going to grab this berry first, though. And then I'm going to fight him. Okay, so I could avoid him, but he has a higher chance of attacking me next time. Or I enter the battle now and get a free turn where the beast does not attack you. I mean, that's that's like a really good, <laughs> really good little bonus. Okay, um, so there's there's a whole different side of this that I feel like we might not have known prior here. Go on, give it a strike, and you'll see what makes that essence so essential. It's it's good wordplay. So cause an explosion. Deal one damage to all scales in a very small radius. I mean, hear me out, right? Right, right here. Seems like it's gonna slap hard. Yeah, okay. It, it slapped pretty hard, right? I mean, that did a ton of damage to this guy. And then I'm assuming this is also going to... Yeah. yeah. Alright. There, there's some, there's some good stuff going on with this explosive stuff. Um, I feel like it's, it's like really strong, right? Am I am I losing my mind and thinking that it's really strong? Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong, but I it feels strong. You're you're gonna hit me if I don't get the hell out of here, um, dude. I'm just gonna go for broke, right? We're we're nowhere near him now. We smacked him and we we did some damage to the hull already, which is nice. We got 24 block. That, that's also a good place to be. Um, let's let's do something that's gonna hit the the center. Never mind. Hey, you know what? We came back around in the end. And then we'll hit you with a little strike action. And, uh, his, his like, core infrastructure, dude, it's in bad shape. He does rampage in five turns. I'm gonna tell you, I think it's realistic. I mean, we're, we're gonna delay the rampage here. Um, I think it's realistic. We, we kill this dude 
like, before that's even a concern, right? Um, this, this is going pretty phenomenal. Let, let's, let's try to do a bounce to, like, here. It's a little jank, but... Okay, we did get hit. Dude, I got so much block, though. A as soon as we get, uh, a... Oh, you ready for this hit? Come on, come on. Oh, right there. I missed. Okay, yeah. Th that was... I mean, we got the thing I wanted in the end, but that was still pretty bad. <laughs> Alright. Get, get him Rampage reset. We also did some damage to the hull. Dude, this shield bash, I'm gonna tell you, it's, it's gonna hit different when we get that going. Uh, this, honestly, we're probably gonna kill him. Oh my god, that was so good. We're gonna kill him on this shield bash, I think. Th this is just- oh yeah, he's completely destroyed. Uh, it was way too much damage, you know? We, we had char- we, we had shield up the ass, or <laughs> out the ass, I guess up your ass. A little bit different place for shield. Um, we destroyed him. I, I honestly, that felt- that felt good. I don't know if that's good, um, at all, but I did get plus one on the shimmer. Things got a tad vigorous out there. Still, I sure feel refreshed, don't you? I, I sure do. Don't, don't, Joaquin Phoenix, whatever your name is. You, um, know a lot about beasts. Oh, not that much. Just notice a few patterns over time wandering out in the wild like I do. Had my whole life to watch them too. Moats, I can barely remember the time before they showed up. All types of beasts, you know, taking on all sorts of different forms in all kinds of environments. Sometimes makes me wonder if they're nature's guardians. Rampaging because they sense the magic is missing. Dude, you know who I think would voice this guy? If they made a movie out of this game? Chris Pratt. <laughs> that, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, and then this mouse, maybe maybe Jack Black. Uh, well, you never know. Maybe if you keep finding ways to bring back magic, you'll calm them all back down. Till then, no matter their motives, as long as they're threatening critters' lives, I'll keep fighting. Okay. You, you do that, dude. He's got something to say. Hello. You heard of Granny? I mean, he is living in her house right now, so I'd hope so. Heard of her? When the beast first struck, most critters turned tail and hunkered down, hoping it'd pass. But not her. She and her sis were out there every day fighting tooth and blade. We didn't call those two legendary warriors for nothing. They saved hundreds, no thousands, of settlements. Once they even fought a writhing river beast that was this big. I'm sure that's an exaggeration. Uh, apologies, didn't see you there, Granny. But I watched you two fighting that day, you know? That was my village you saved. Oh my, I didn't realize how callous of me. Nah, don't worry yourself, I was just one youngster in a cheering crowd, you wouldn't have recognized me. But now you're a scout, I see, a fine profession, worked with a few back in the day to stock our forge magic. Sure am, though mostly I keep watch for beasts nowadays. Not enough magic left to go searching for sparks. Though if you don't mind me saying so, the moats around your farm are shining something special. Maybe it's a sign the world's finally going to start bouncing back from all this. One can only hope. That was a nice interaction. Um, oh, we're in the kitchen. Where's Poppy? According to this note stuffed in the bread box, that wayward cousin of yours went out foraging. Again. Dot dot dot. I'd feel better about it if she weren't so prone to getting distracted. I still shudder at the earthworm rodeo incident. Pardon me? Anyway, keep a lookout. Exclamation point, exclamation point. This dude gets so excited about nothing. <laughs> okay. We got a splinter spark. Very exciting. Um, and with it, I can craft freaking nothing. Okay. Good, good stuff. Honestly, good stuff. Um, back to the cellar we go. Let's plan an expedition. So keep on tracking. Another tracking lesson. Okay. I'm in. Any more lessons? For tracking, you mean? I'm honored you think that my ramblings can help you out, but yeah, sure thing, I could probably find a few more tips rattling around in this old noggin. Ready when you are. So I'm kind of intrigued by this whole tracking thing. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. There's kind of a little mini puzzle uh, in between the, the actual battles. All right, the brambles are real dense here. You can hardly see past your snout, but here lay a paw in the vines. Feel that faint trembling? There's a beast about and I bet I'll know where it's heading. That there is a corruption pool. Careful, it's poison for critters li like us, but poison for us is tasty for beasts. They love those pools, so they always walk towards the nearest one. Let's scout around and try to spot that beast. Okay. So I, I get it. I get it. You don't know what you're gonna find. Let's head deeper into the undergrowth, champ. Better to learn what we can sooner rather than later. Okay. So I'm gonna move 
Let's head deeper into the undergrowth, champ. Okay, you want me to go... You don't want me to go one spot. You want me to go, like, all the way to here. Okay, you want me to go to here. Fair enough. <laughs> Probably could have just said that, but that's fine. Hear that roar? The beast just swallowed down a corruption pool and got stronger. It's like clockwork. Beast head from pool to pool, drinking them all up, and then smash straight into the village. So you want to get to them before they get too strong. Okay. Okay. So is, is he over there right now? No. But there's a little timer going on there. Oh, the bee- we know he's over here, man. Oh, he- he's at the pool. He's not at the pool. Oh, what the hell? He's- he's a wandering dude. Where the hell is this sucker? He destroyed New Bark! I suck! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> that was not good. So you're the so-called mail carrier sending these messages. Oh, here we go. I didn't see you there. I'm impressed that you managed to sneak up on me. Clearly, you still have some of your skills. I'm impressed you managed to keep away from me this long, which means you have skills of your own, and I'd rather learn them now. Skipper may welcome you, but this is still my farm. I want to know who you are. You know my name. You know how to refer to me. You know what I do. I'm going to start every stream I do with this. Hello everybody, you know my name, you know how to refer to me, you know what I do. And today we're doing a pyramid run. Can't that be enough? Forgive me if I don't trust so easily, I sympathize. But neither do I. What a, what a freak. <laughs> what an actual freak show. Alright, let's try this again, dude. Um, I will, I will skip your lines. I will grab my berries. Yes, we know. There's a roar. Now, here's the thing, right? This sucker is going to come right across. We can see him down here. So I'm going to get to here. He's going to go straight to this pool. Hello, sir. I fight. Bring it on. I didn't craft anything. I probably should have crafted some stuff. Okay. Yeah. This is the same guy as last time. Uh, so I'm, I'm not too concerned. We're just going to do the same thing we did. Now, no, no explosive energy this time. Does, does make things a little, uh... A little trickier, I would say. But in the grand scheme of things, uh, this dude's not that hard to kill, right? I, I kind of feel like we're going to be A-OK -okay here. So let's let's just launch ourselves right in here. We, we may get stuck in the, the thick of it. Although, to be honest with you, we actually possibly won't. I'm, I'm actually relatively pleased with how that went. We, we got some charge up. I'm going to keep... I'm going to do the exact same thing I did last time, man. Which is uh, basically just roll the shield bash. Like, as much as possible. Uh, let, let's try to do something like this. Get a little extra charge. Is that a Discord notification? What the hell? Hold up. Hold up. Apparently... Apparently, freaking streamer mode's not on. I had to just check and make sure that I had, uh, had the, the dang, uh, recording actually going. Normally it just shuts it off whenever I, I start recording. That was very strange. Okay, um, sorry for the Discord ping. Probably made you think you got a notification. Alright, let's get in here. No damage taken. Shield Bash is looking spicy, but obviously we got to, uh... He rampages in four turns. I'm just so not concerned, man. I I'm so not concerned. Is this where you shield bash? Yeah, let let's let's send it in. We'll get a rampage reset. Um. Oh, this this was. Ah! Oh my god, <laughs> he, he got a little crazy at the end. Um, that was fine. I mean, I, I think we could have gotten a better one, but the that was fine. I do want to get whatever the heck um. Whatever the heck this star is. I think that's a crafting material we have not seen. Oh, dude. He, he's, he's got a very vulnerable part of him. Getting rid of that would be that would be huge for us. We definitely got to snag this. You know, it's a bit of a waste of a turn. I, I wholeheartedly agree. But it, it benefits us in the end. Okay, that's huge. Big, big crafting material pickup right there. And he's, you know, he's a little in danger, right? He's a little in danger. This was not a good attack. 
Not not my finest, I would say. Alright. Cool. <laughs> you attacked. Still don't feel in danger at all. Um, I'll do another defensive charge. I'm, I'm going to try to get charge right now. The thing is, we, we gotta get that extra charge boy. Solely so that um, when... When the time comes, we can do a shield bash that is, you know, super strong and really good. You know, that, that's kind of my plan. So just, just keep things nice and sturdy. We're, we're taking our time a little bit on this one. But we're not taking damage. We're, we're approaching the point where the shield bash will be, will be necessary. Uh, I think we can afford to, to continue to take our time here. Let, let's try it. That's not going to hit it. Honestly, that, that was a really bad play. That was a really bad play. I'm trying to get the charge going. Uh, I could just shield bash here, though. You know what, man? I'm, I'm gonna do it. That That's gonna do that. Rampage reset. Oh, God, man. I got stuck in a dang... He, 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 he did nothing. He did nothing. That was horrible. We had so much block, and I got rid of all of it. And then almost took damage in the process, too. That would have been... That would have been just miserable. Um, we can finally do a... Pardon me? Oh, wait, this is not the piercing one. I thought that was the piercing one. Okay, fair enough. Let, let's do that. Little, little slide in. We, we slid around a little bit. I kind of like that, to be honest. That looked kind of nice. All right, big charge. This is, this is our, our preparation for uh, a defensive charge. I'm also going to do this. This is going to cause a Rampage reset. We're just slowly whittling him away. Ah, you know what? You, you take some damage there, but there's nothing too, too bad. Um, I'll, I'll also give more charge again. We're, we're not expecting a whole lot of... You know what? Just just attack him there. We're, we're not expecting much. We, we're, we're, we're gearing up for a, a big play soon. But let's try to kind of crack into him. We, we definitely have to start, like, actually hitting this sucker. So something something like this. <laughs> okay, fair enough. You did not hit me. <laughs> you did not hit me because I'm just so good at the game. Um, let's... I need to get, like, inside of there, right? This is a terrible position for us. Um, what if I do... Something like this, right? Get over... Oh, no. That is not what we want to do. Oh, we, we are in... This is a crap position, man. I think it's just the, the beast is in a crap spot, to be honest. He, he's kind of regen everything right now. Okay. That at least gives us a little bit of space. You know, that opens up some potential for us. I kind of like this. We take some dam- I mean, we take two damage, man. I- I got 30 block. Two damage is nothing. It's freaking nothing. But I- I still kind of feel like I'm in the tutorial for the game. Like, we just learned how to find monsters. <laughs> I, I- I feel like, you know, even though we're- we're a good hour in, it's an RPG, right? It- we're not gonna face the challenging stuff until we, uh start to level up a little bit. And I, I, I have heard that the crafting gets like really, really crazy um, as time goes on. You kind of gain like full control over a build. There's a lot of different stuff. Um, so while, while we're possibly in a little bit of a, a lull right now, dude, I just don't, I don't really think that the move is to do shield, shield boy. It's like, it's good, don't get me wrong. I mean, being able to have this go, like, five times the amount of the, uh, normal length is, is good, but is it really that good if you can't actually, uh, can't actually hit the guy because there's nothing else to bounce off of? Like, we, we've whittled this guy down to frickin' nothing, man. Jesus, criminy. <laughs> I, I, here, one damage. We've done it. Two damage. He's cracked. All right, but then he's just gonna regrow the same scales again. All right, J just keep the block up. Eventually, we're just gonna have to do a shield bash and, and call it a day. 
He just, he regrows way too much. Hey, this was good though. That was good. If only he stayed in that exact same spot and I could have just shield bashed him the heck, right? That, that would have been okay. Do a little one of these. That's fine. Defensive charge. And then just like... Yeah, that's a bad place to be. But I also got 59 blocks, so uh, who cares, right? This is, this is probably a good opportunity for us to just shield bash here. And we'll do this. Oh, that was enough. On bounce deal, two damage. Gotcha. Okay. Dude, this is insane. Shield bash is actually really good. I, I forgot about the double damage part of it. This was not a good round for me, though. <laughs> we, we did not really do good. We did not really do good. All right. Calls for aid. Cinnabar will regularly deliver requests from settlements who need your help. Okay. Interesting. And then I don't... Oh, I can craft something. Hey, look at this. New sword and shield, the Revenger. Deal a damage, gain a charge. Taunt. When the piece taunt bar is filled, the ram of the beast is increased by one. While taunted, the rampage counter does not go down. It's a two damage boyo, though. Interesting. I think we're going to see some more about this. Gain six block on the first bounce, deal three damage. I like that, dude. I like that a lot. When the beast lands an attack on you, deal damage equal to its attack to the attacking core. Oh, wow. I really like that. I really like that, man. That's kind of cool. Okay. Um, I definitely want to try this now. Oh, my God. We got all kinds of stuff. Okay, so here's different different motes that are going to drop in this location. Skipper wants to add another arrow to their quiver. Put a bow on it. Okay, I know that there's some stuff going on, but I, I, gotta, I gotta see what this is. Not every day you see somebody going up against a beast, much less whisker to whisker. You're a natural. But I got a question, champ. Ever thought about switching up your strategy? You know, like, like how crops start drooping if you only ever grow one kind? Change is refreshing. For example, if you ever want to try your paw at a good old bow and arrow, yes. I'm glad Skipper and I are on the same page. Guess I hit a bullseye with that one. Let's head out when you're ready. I know the perfect field. Dude, so we, we have a new weapon. What the frick? Move steps equal to charge. Oh, I'm, this is messed. What the hell's going on here, dude? Gain three ammo? Oh, we got all kinds of weird stuff going here. J just the part, he's going to teach us. Oh, this is about to completely change the game, dude. I mean, this is a brand new... This is a brand new way of playing. Alright. Here's the new bow I just whittled up for you. Let me give you a few pointers. Uh, Joaquin, you gotta chill, dude. This trusty bow has some key differences from that hefty sword. Most critters aren't buff as your granny. Using up all that sword swing and energy really tuckers you out. Now with bows on the other paw, you gotta set yourself up for future success. First things first, you need to scrounge up some ammo. Let's get ready to roll. Use reload roll to gain ammo. Okay. So this... Oh, dude, this is so cool. This is so cool. So we move... And we get ammo, but we move to get better position. Now that your quiver is sporting a few extra arrows, uh, take aim and fire. Okay, so arrow flight. Fires two arrows in a straight line. Applies essence. On scale bounce, a 50% chance to deal a damage. On core bounce, a 20% chance to deal a damage and stop. This is not that good. Right? I mean, this is not that good. <laughs> But I'll, I'll do it. Okay. Oh. Oh, they go forever. Interesting. Great work, champ. You've got a real knack for taking action. Figure for you that'd be simple, but don't burn out now. Charging ahead, the stuff, tough stuff is holding you back. When you start getting drained, just take a moment and breathe. It'll all pay off in time. Okay, dude, this is so interesting. End your turn early to convert your ammo into charge. This is so wet. This is completely different, man. Now you've got the strength for a whole flurry of arrows. Reload, then fire away. All right. So we reload. So what happens if I hit him? 
Nothing. Oh, this is not where I want to be. <laughs> this is not where I want to be. I should probably reload again, actually. Because we don't, we, we don't want to be here. Being here is fine. Recommend saving some ammo if you can. An arrow in the paw is worth 10 on the field. Okay. So let, let's hit you like this. And I'm going to also hit you like this. We gain 20 charge. So we, I mean, dude, you can create some infinites here, right? Fires one arrow, pierces everything. Okay, um, what the hell? That's so strong. <laughs> okay, uh, dude, this is crazy. I did not expect this, I'm gonna tell you. I really did not expect this. Um, I didn't think there was gonna be different ways of, of doing damage. But it's really interesting. Um, it's really interesting, actually. This would fire three arrows. We gain some charge. I mean, I, I might as well do some more stuff here. Uh, this is a ton of damage, man. The interesting thing with this uh, loadout, though, is you don't have block, right? So you, you have to... Uh, you, you, you gotta be more diligent. That actually killed him. Oh, dude, I really like the bow. This is such an interesting way to play. Now, but here, here's what the game has to do, and I'm scared that this is going to be the case. You gotta give me a reason to use both weapons. Like, you, you gotta make me master both of them. Don't give me the choice, right? Or else we're gonna fall into the, the camp of I only like the bow, so I never use any swords I get. Aw, Splinters, looks like the edge of your cloak got pierced. Sorry, I'll explain it was my fault. Say, would you like my old scout cape while we patch it up? It'll work seamlessly with your bow. I'd wear it myself, but I'm not cut out for capes. Quills like mine, capes get cut out by me. <laughs> In fact, you might say they end up dismantled. But up bump No! <laughs> Anyhow you want, it might be a tad big on you, but I'll have it. Thanks. Alright, new weapon available, bow and arrow. A new bow? That's the bow we just used? I really like the bow, man. Uh, Scout's Mantle. So I, I gotta see what the hell the Scout's Mantle is. We can also craft a a splinter thing here, which is a new bow. Aw, oh, frick, dude. Aw, oh, frick, I got a poison bow? Are you serious? Okay. So this is this is the same same thing. Move and, and gain ammo. Um, if an attacking core is hit, its attack is cancelled. Four arrows in a straight line, 30% chance to deal damage. If core is an attacking core, distract. Oh, so that stops the beast's attack. That's really good. Um, nettling thorns, six arrows in a wide cone. Adds taunt. Okay. Deals a damage. On bounces, stops. So you want to be like right next to him, and this is like a six damage play, dude. Fires an arrow. On core bounce, apply corrosion. Tile takes a damage at the end of the beast turn. Uh, dude, it's so good, right? That's so good. All right. So what expeditions do we have? Uh, let me let me do one more today. Let me do one more. Striker tooth attack. Rose Dell calls for aid. And then screw it. I'm absolutely going to try. Oh, there's two more weapons. What? I also haven't tried this yet. Oh frick. Okay, I'm just gonna have to force myself to try different things. Um, that's okay. So let, let's try this one. Um, I will say, I I think that that should not be like that. And what is this? Plus 10 max health, a bonus ammo tile. Yeah, that's pretty good. They, they should definitely force you to use certain things. I know that that's probably against what they want to do. Okay, he was right here, man. He's going this way? Okay, I've never seen this guy before. So I'm terrified. Um, what recipes we got? Oh my god, dude. So I got nine I can spend. This is such an interesting uh, interesting method for things. So what is this? Scorch to all scales in a small radius. Prevents adjacent tiles from regrowing. That's crazy. You can only craft at a settlement. Frick. Gotcha. Okay. Dude, these are all insane. Oh, I did not do this right. Okay, we're, we're back. We're, we're good. 
So craft this. And craft this. Oh, you can only have one, dude. You can only have one. You can only have one of each, I guess. You can do consumables and... Okay. Well, you know what we learned, right? That's fine. Bring it on. We, we learned. That's fine. We know for the future. Oh, this dude's got... Oh, he funky. Oh, he funky. Okay. Well, let's... Does this give me... It doesn't. Damn it. Uh, okay. So let's... Just smack this. That, honestly, that did not really go according to plan, I would say. Uh, reload roll. I want to get over here. And this is our, our core right here. So on bounce, stop. On a core scale, deal a damage, add a taunt. So we could do... Well, actually, no, we can't. I, I, I got to be able to hit this. And frankly, that's never going to happen. So I guess we just do... Four arrows in a line here. He got distracted, so he's not attacking. Our arrows did some stuff. Let's reload roll again to get better position in the middle. And then I'm just going to send another set of them in. And that did nothing, too. So, uh, so cores, they don't, they don't take damage. Okay. Honestly, th it's good to know. So, oh, he just left. Oh, he back. <laughs> I got scared. Um, okay. So, reload roll. Let, let's get to, like, here, right? And then six arrows in a wide cone. J just smack. He's crazy taunted. So, taunt again means he doesn't rampage. Yeah, okay. Interesting. This guy also grows a ton. I, I, dude, you don't have a ton of damage with this guy, I will say. We, we're distracting him so much, though. Like, then again, do I really even know what distracting means? Hold up. If an attacking core is hit. Oh, so only certain cores attack. So is this core the attacking core right now? I'm going to go with probably. Okay, let, let's get to here. Then we're going to do a diverting to here. That gives us extra ammo. And then I'm going to do a reload. Can I sneak through here? I kind of like this idea. We do a reload to there. Then we fire these. And then we fire these again. And then I'm going to end turn to get 50 charge. Right? Beautiful. Well, it was actually 60. I, I guess I could have done that one more time. But still still works for what I wanted. Um, I did not want to be all the way here. But I guess now I can just, you know, smack the hell out of him inside of there. That actually did a bunch of damage. And then we're here. Okay. Okay. I want to get some corrosion in there, um, but we're not there yet. So let, let's go for the extra ammo here. The extra ammo is still like super, super good. And then this is going to start being corrosive now. And then we could keep the taunt up. Dude, I just kind of feel like this guy can never hit us, right? But we, we got to get corrosion on the main, the main core right here, right? That That's going to be how we, we make things work. This guy also hits for seven, so I, I can see how, oh dude, the corrosion though. I can see how this could end up getting a little spicy. Okay, let's, um... Dude, I, I need the I need the ability to get siphon going for the corrosion. So let let's just do that. Then we're right here. This is this is brilliant, okay? So reload roll. We're we're gonna go. Can, can we go like go here? 
Honestly, that's fine. Then you go four in a line. Opens up a huge lane for us. Then you go siphon and just try to hit it as many times as possible. We, we got some corrosion elsewhere. We could fire another one. I, I don't know if the corrosion stacks. I, I guess it maybe it maybe doesn't. But now that's taking a turn, a thing every turn. He's rampaging in two turns, dude. I did not pay attention to that. Okay. Um. Yeah. That's that's bad, actually. That is not good. That that's really not good, actually. We we gotta find a way to get rid of this scale. But I don't have the charge. Um. Okay. Plus five ammo is nice. So we, we could distract them, but we're not taking damage right now. I think you end turn here, but then you have to have a hell of a play here. Like, you have to knock out a core now, or else you're, you're in really bad shape. So, we're gonna get to here. Dude, I, I don't want you to move as much as what you're moving right now, you little stupid mouse. I, I guess that's fine. That's not really fine, to be honest. I, I need to get in. Okay, we, we can make it work. We can make it work. So we're going to go... One, two, you're distracted. That's fine. Then you're going to do this. Oh, God. Okay. I mean, we need to definitely hit that a couple times. Uh, I mean... We're screwed, right? I mean, am I am I losing my mind here? Or are we in, like, really bad shape? I, I don't know if I can make him... Oh, we'd have to taunt him again. I can't taunt him again. I can taunt him again. Okay, hold up. <laughs> then you do... Nettling... To... Taunt him. Okay. Then we're good. Oh, it's getting, it's getting much more complicated, dude. It's getting much more complicated. But that stops his rampage for the turn. But he's he's still good for this one. Okay. So then you go up. Diverting in here. Just just let it open that up for us. He rampages now again if we don't reset. Dude, we lose. No, we don't. Do we lose? What What am I doing here? Um. <laughs> I think you do something like this. Which sets up extra ammo. We, we distract him. But that does not help us because he's not taunted enough. And these arrows just, they don't do damage, man. Oh, frick. Okay. Well, you know what? I... Here I am. <laughs> Here I am in a position where... Um... Oh, Rampage Imminent. We're, we're still alive. We're still alive. Okay. Oh, then I, I shouldn't have done what I did, dude. If I knew that we still had a rampage opportunity then i would have saved some ammo but now we're, we're screwed i take seven damage he rampages we lose the battle dude that's tough that's tough right need to get stronger that's tough um you gotta be careful with the bow it's strong it's definitely strong but you you also i don't know uh, it's an interesting uh, situation, though. I'm excited to try that again in the future, though. And I, I really like how this expedition setup works. Um, gives you a little bit more stuff to, to mess around with. Uh, I like it a lot. Hey, thanks so much for watching. As always, liking the video much appreciate. I'll see you guys in the next Beast Breaker episode. Have a good rest of your day. Bye bye <laughs>